Thank you for watching this video. My name is Daryl Peralta and we're from the University of the Philippines. This work was done under a Chad Picari project titled AirScan. Next best view policy for 3D reconstruction. 3D models of large infrastructure such as buildings can provide insights for numerous applications such as construction monitoring, disaster risk management, virtual reality applications, and even for cultural heritage conservation. To create 3D models of these large structures, we normally capture images at different viewpoints using drones. These images are then used as input to 3D reconstruction algorithms such as structure promotion to create the 3D model of the scene. However, manually selecting viewpoints or using commonly available flight paths like circular paths for large-scale 3D reconstruction often results in incomplete 3D models. One way of solving this is through more data from more viewpoints, but this will increase processing time and computational complexity. In addition, drones also have a limited flight time. The problem of minimizing views required to cover an object is known as the view planning problem. This problem can also be addressed by selecting the next best view or NBV, which is the next sensor position that maximizes the information gain. Existing methods to select viewpoints include the off-the-shelf circular path, commonly available in commercial drones, where the drone circulates around a target point. Existing works have explored information gain methods, surface-based methods, and point-based methods. However, all this use hand-engineered criteria for selecting viewpoints. Summary-based methods were also proposed but with low resolution or did not optimize the path. In this paper, an algorithm is proposed to answer the question, can an agent learn to scan a house efficiently by determining the NBV from monocular images? Humans can do this task by looking at the house since we can identify occluded parts such as under the roof. To explore this idea, we approximate the NBV selection process as a markup decision process or MDP and apply the enforcement learning to find an optimal policy which we call the NBV policy to select the next views. To test this idea, we created our own synthetic environment using Unreal Engine to create realistic 3D scenes and also allow for rendering images. We now introduce ScanRL, learning a next best view policy. Here's the block diagram of ScanRL. Monocular images are rendered from the Unreal Engine environment. These monocular images are used as state. The current image is resized and concatenated with five previous frames to form the state vector. Using monocular images as state can easily be extended to actual drones since cameras are commonly available on drones. The state is then used as input to a policy file which decides which action to take. The actions that the agent can take are changes in the camera pose. We parameterize the camera pose to three degrees of freedom, namely azimuth, elevation, and distance from the origin. We implemented scanner L both for discrete and continuous action space. Depth images are rendered from the Unreal Engine environment at the next viewpoint. The 3D reconstruction module then generates a 3D point cloud from the collected depth images using a depth fusion algorithm. The 3D reconstruction module can be any 3D reconstruction algorithm, but for this case, we use depth fusion to make training faster and feasible. Rewards are then computed based on the 3D model. The agent gains a positive reward based on the increase of the surface coverage, which is the number of observed points, over the total number of ground truth points. We also introduce negative rewards for each additional step and proportional to the distance traveled for each step. This is to encourage the agent to minimize the path. An episode is defined as one scanning task for a target house. We implemented two versions of ScanRL, both for discrete and continuous action space. The discrete action space version is based on the DQ network or DQN, while the continuous action space version is based on the deep deterministic policy gradient 
or DDPG. Trained in Evaluate Scanner L, we created House Street Game, a dataset consisting of 3,000 watertight and textured 3D house models. House Street K is divided into 12 batches, each containing 50 unique house geometries. For each batch, five different textures were applied. House Street K was modularly built. We created our own style vocabulary, which consisted of different house structure types, roof shapes, windows, floor styles, and even varying texture for the roof and walls. Based on the style vocabulary, modular 3D assets were created. These modular assets were then assembled in various combinations. This is to make the different unique houses that comprise the data set. We also implemented a quality control process for the house models. Images from two representative sample houses from each batch are rendered in Unreal Engine. These images were used as input to a 3D reconstruction algorithm. The 3D model must be reconstructed properly or else the texture will be redesigned. We conducted three experiments to evaluate ScanRL, namely single house policy experiment, multiple houses single policy experiment, and the non-house target model experiment. The single house policy experiment was conducted to test if ScanRL can train a policy to scan a house efficiently. We use the house from batch 6 of House of 3K and set the terminal coverage to 96%. Here is a sample result for the circular path with fixed elevation. 87% surface coverage was achieved within 17 steps. Here is the result of using the NDD policy learned using our algorithm ScanRL. 97% surface coverage was achieved with only 13 steps. This is because the agent learned to focus on the self occluded regions under the roof. Here is a side by side comparison of the 3D model output, both for the circular path and scan RL. You can see from the results that in scan RL, the self occluded regions under the roof were reconstructed. To further evaluate scan RL, we implemented three baseline circular paths with different orders of traversing the elevation levels. Circular 1 starts from the topmost elevation, then goes down to the middle elevation, then to the bottom elevation. Circular 2 starts from the middle elevation, then goes to the bottom elevation, then goes to the topmost elevation. Circular 3 starts from the bottom, goes up to the middle, then to the topmost elevation. We experimented with the different configurations for the discrete action space. Results show that ScanRL can learn an NDD policy to scan a house in fewer number of steps and shorter distance compared to the circular path. We also experimented with the continuous action space. Results still show that ScanRL can scan a house in fewer number of steps compared to the baseline circular path. The second experiment was the multiple houses single policy experiment. This was conducted to test if ScanRL can train a policy that can scan multiple houses and to test if the trained NVV policy can be transferred to houses not seen during cleaning. We used Houses 3K dataset and implemented two types of split, random and geometry. We also defined a solved house where 96% surface coverage is achieved. The number of solved houses over the total houses for each batch are presented in this table. Results show that ScanRL was able to scan multiple houses, including houses that were not seen during cleaning. Sample 3D construction with the selected viewpoints are shown here. These results show that the agent learned to get closer to the house and move around it to achieve the terminal surface coverage. The last experiment was the non-house target model experiment, where the Stanford body was used. This was conducted to test if we can use ScanRL to target objects which are not houses. 
training similar to the single house policy experiments. Here's the three reconstruction with the selected viewpoints for the Stanford body. This shows that ScanRL is not limited to house models. In conclusion, ScanRL can train an NVD policy for 3D reconstruction inspired by how humans scan an object. To train and evaluate ScanRL, we created Houses 3D, which can be used for future research work. Our experiments show that ScanRL can train an NVD policy that can be used to scan a house with fewer number of steps and shorter distance compared to the baseline circular path. Additional results demonstrate that ScanRL can train a single NVD policy and be used to scan multiple houses, including those that were not seen during training. The link to our code and to the house's 3D dataset can be found in our paper. Thank you for listening.